As part of the new segment to the show called the Compass Literature Corner, we will be talking to local authors and writers who have had an impact on this region or whom this region has had an impact on. Today we have a man who is not only a veteran, but a poet who writes for civilians and veterans alike. His book of poems is a flip book split between designated audiences of warriors and the other half. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to say that today's guest is Ogilvy resident Jack Stevens. Jack, welcome. Thank you very much. It's very nice. So Jack, why don't you tell me a little bit about what inspired you to write your book? I will say it for you, Poetry for Warriors and the Other Half. <laughs> and what's happened in my life is what inspires each one of the poems I've written. Uh, some, some are very happy. Um, I like to think that I have a good sense of humor, so I, I put some of the, the, the funny stuff in. Um, but there's a lot of tragedy in my life, and it seems like a, most of my life uh, has been full of uh, significant events that most people don't uh, deal with, like war. It kind of explains everything, uh, what I've been through. Now, these poems that in this book are deeply personal, but also relatable. So tell me a little bit about what you got out of writing it. Did, did it offer some type of catharsis? It validates who I am and how I got here. These poems, uh, they're not for sissies. <laughs> they're the, especially the ones about uh, the war and combat and, and how people treated us when we came home. Uh, how the difference between Vietnam veterans coming home and today's warrior coming home. That uh, there's a lot going on there, and you can sugarcoat it all if you want, but it's still very honest and very true. It's interesting to people to that w weren't alive then to to, to see this. So in your work at the Eagle's Healing Nest in Sock Center, which was discussed earlier on in this episode, what kind of response have you gotten from the veterans there based on them reading your work? I have many veterans, uh, older veterans come and, and, and read my poetry and they say, Jack, you're saying for us exactly uh, what we want to say and can't say. Uh, we went off to a war that we didn't particularly want to go to. We didn't understand. Many of us didn't know where uh, Vietnam was. Um, yeah, it, was, it was a tumultuous time in our life and in our society. And today I can tell people, it, it, again, it's not whining and I'm not angry. I'm just saying, folks, we were no different than these kids that are coming home to the brass bands and uh, all the flag waving and stuff, which is fantastic. When we came home, they were throwing things at us and spitting on us. And, uh, we didn't come home as a group. We came home, most of us came home as individuals or in smaller groups. So when we had to face everybody by ourselves. So I want to focus on the veteran poems for a minute and ask how you decided on what topics and themes to talk about. I mean, not only do you talk about being no different, but you also talk about PTSD, correct? Correct. Again, I'm going back and thinking through the things that I went through. I also listen to the young men that talk to me, and they tell me about the things that they have had to endure and what bothers them today. And uh, I relate to that. They trust me, and I have validation, and I have a credibility. And so those are the subjects that they need to talk about, and those are the ones I wrote about. Do you think that's why, because you listen, that it, your poetry has such deep resonance with veterans? Oh, I hope so. I hope that that makes a difference. I hope that they, they see that. Uh, and that's what I'm told anyway, and I, I, um, I, I believe it. As we round out this discussion, why don't you treat us with a reading of one of your poems? All right, it's called We Were No Different Than the Boys of Today, and it's dedicated to all Vietnam veterans, POWs and MIAs. I beg you to listen to what I must say. We were no different than the boys of today. 
Our country summoned and we answered the call. We joined the fight and we all stood tall. We fought in the jungles, paddies and rivers. Wherever we, whatever was needed, we were there to deliver. We fought for the hills and the rain and the red clay and gave them all back the very next day. We pray God's forgiveness for what we have done, for the lives that we took in the sights of our gun. We pray for our brothers whom our enemies killed and pray at last their souls will be still. And to all of our brothers who never came home, you are never forgotten, you are never alone. I beg you to listen to what I must say. We were no different than the boys of today. So if you want a copy of Jack Stevens' poetry book, talk to the Eagles Healing Nest in Sock Center, Minnesota. They have a Facebook page as well as a website. That's it for us in the Compass Literature Corner. Please tune in next week for more people, places, and issues facing our viewing area. I'm Pioneer's Laura K. Prosser, and may your compass always point you in the direction of a good book. Major support for Compass is provided by the ongoing support of the Leo P. Flynn Estate of Millbank, South Dakota. Additional support is provided by the Southwest Minnesota Private Industry Council, promoting Southwest Minnesota as a place rich with opportunity. Come for the jobs, stay for the lifestyle. More information at swmnpic.org.